So you want to learn a language. You've heard about the numerous benefits learning a language can give you. You want a new challenge. You want to try something different. You want to take up a different hobby. You know you want to learn a language, but you don't know which language you want to learn. You've Googled what's the easiest language to learn. And of course, you've come up with loads of different answers to that question. So in this video, I'm going to be helping you with the question, how do I decide on which language to learn? Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pat from Play About Languages. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're not new, well, welcome back. Thanks for being here. I'm going to be talking to you about how I personally choose um, the language that I'm going to be learning next. What's my process? What do I go through? There are so many languages we can choose from. Hundreds, hundreds of languages, and each of them have their own benefits. Each of them have their own like drawbacks. So how do you decide? How do you choose? Well, I'm going to be explaining what I do, and I hope that uh, helps inspire you and guides you in your own decisions regarding language learning. The first thing I look at is the people. What are the people like? Do I vibe with the people? Do they resonate with me? Can I imagine myself learning this language and speaking it fluently and then speaking to the native people? You've got to factor in the people who speak your language natively, unless you're learning a language like English, of course, which is a huge lingua franca, spoken all around the world. I would highly recommend considering what are the people like? Do I want to get to know these people more? Is there an element of mystery about these people I want to find out about? Why they do the things they do? Um, do I want to learn about their culture? You need to consider these things before learning. A language. This is what I did with Malay. I had the uh, fortune to go to Malaysia before I knew I wanted to study Malay. So I met the people, I spoke to them, I interacted with them and I thought that in general the, these are cool people. They're very nice. They don't try to rip you off <laughs> too much. Um, you know the the, uh, the tourist tax that's uh, very common in a lot of countries. They were very kind, caring, genuine people. And that little, little fire in my belly, I thought, yeah, do you know what? I would like to get to know these people more. So first thing I do is I think about the people. What are the people like who speak that language? The second thing I consider before learning a language is what does it sound like? Do I like how the language sounds? might seem obvious, right? Because it's probably the first thing we're all like aware of and listening out for is the sound of it. Do we actually like how it sounds? But it's super important that uh, you think, yeah, this language actually sounds really cool. I can imagine myself speaking this language. It's something, for example, I've not had, and I, I don't mean to give German a lot of hate because German does get a lot of hate on the internet. But just for me personally, I, I don't like how German sounds. It doesn't bring me joy, like uh, hearing German. So I wouldn't consider learning it. At the moment, never say never, there might be other factors that come into play. But I really like to um, consider the sound. And if, if I like uh, how the, the language sounds, basically, I listen to a lot of music before I start learning a language. That's what I did with Malay. I obviously heard the people speak. Um, okay, enjoyed that. Like the intonation as well of the language, you've got to take that into account. But yeah, listen to some music, that can be a really good way of uh, uh, figuring out if you like how the language sounds, basically. The third thing I consider before learning a language is how many opportunities am I going to have to practice this language? How relevant is it for me in my life? You can do a Google search and look for what are the most widely spoken languages 
you'll get Chinese, English, probably Spanish as well. And they're all great languages to learn. But if you go to France every year on holiday, <laughs> Chinese isn't going to be very helpful. <laughs> Spanish, you might, might get you somewhere and communicating with a few people in France. But you want to learn French. That's what you want to learn. That's the language which is relevant to you. So when I choose a language, I make sure it's something that I'm going to be able to use and practice. And it's actually useful for me in my life. Malay, for example, another reason I decided to, to go ahead and learn it was that my brother actually speaks it. He lived in Malaysia for three years and speaks very, very good uh, Malay. And I thought, well, I mean, that would be great to be able to speak to him in Malay in secret when no one else <laughs> in my family can uh, understand what we're saying. So that was another really, really strong reason for me to learn the language. You've got to make it personal, guys. Make it about you. You can Google search these things like what's the easiest language to learn? Uh, what language takes the least amount of time to learn? There are so many variables when it comes to language learning. You're going to get loads of varying answers. Make it a personal journey. This is about you. Think about the things that I've uh, talked about in this video. Think about the sound. What does it sound like? Do you like the sound of it? Can you imagine yourself being fluent in the language? What does it feel like when you sit and just take a moment to imagine yourself speaking the language fluently, understanding what everyone around you is saying, laughing with people in bars? Really try to visualise that. And if you get like a really excited feeling uh, in your heart, it's something that your soul wants to experience, right? So go ahead and, and learn that language. That's probably the most important factor to take into account amongst the other things I've discussed today is, do you get a real like feeling of, yeah, this is like, this would be epic. If I could speak the this language fluently, wow, my life would be so different and so much better than it is right now. Then go ahead and learn that language. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope it's uh, inspired you to go and learn a foreign language. Oh, and thank you for subscribing as well. Thanks. Like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah do that you've, you've done it you've done I've, you've i've seen you you've done that so thank you very much i appreciate you thanks a lot leave a comment as well if you want that helps with the uh the algorithm and all those things so uh yeah leave a comment and i'll uh and i'll get back to you take care